Okay, now we're on to our example problems. Section 11.3. Find the area of a regular pentagon that has a perimeter of 90 meters. Okay. Oh, what's the formula for the area of any regular polygon? One half AP. So a couple things I need to find. I need to find the apothem. I need to find the perimeter. Ooh, I have the perimeter. So actually, all I need to find on this whole thing is the apothem. So I need to find this height of this triangle, the red dotted line. All right, let's think, let's think, where can we go with this? What should we do? Here's what I'm thinking right now. There are 360 degrees in a circle, right here. All right, and I could actually divide this up into five triangles. So let me think, 360 divided by five triangles would give me 72 degrees. All right, so every single angle comes here at 72 degrees, 72 degrees, and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna look specifically at this triangle here, and I'm cut it in half, so this piece is actually 36 degrees. All right, I'm gonna try, pull out this, there we go. See what I did there? This triangle is right here. Yeah. All right, I'm just enlarging that. You can see this is going to be a 36 degrees. I need to find the apothem, which is the dotted line, right, from here. Oh, now it's no longer dotted. Oh, now it's dotted again. All right, X. And ooh, if only I knew one other thing on that triangle. <gasps> the perimeter is 90. The perimeter of this entire figure is 90. So 90 divided by 5 is going to be 18. So every side is 18. So if I get down here to this triangle, I cut this bottom in half. So this side is 9, the other side is 9. So the full length is 18, but down here, I'm going to write 9. And now you're like, how is that helping me, Mrs. Tally? Now I just know one side. Now I can use trigonometry. I can use, let's see, what do I need? I have a right angle here. This side is opposite. This side is adjacent. So I'm going to use tangent of 36 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. All right, and then you got to figure this out. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Tangent. 36 degrees equal to 9 over x. Take both sides times x. We did this earlier. x tan tangent of 36 equals 9. Now i got to get x by itself, so I divide by tangent of 36. All right, I'm sure you're all reaching for your calculators. This is the downfall of doing the video, as I am pretty sure none of you are reaching for your calculators, but reach for your calculator anyway. All right, I'm getting 9 divided by tangent of 36. Make sure your mode is set to degrees. Should be 12.3874. Okay, yeah, we're not going to write... Actually, I am going to write out all these decimals because what happens is if you round and then later we round again, we round three times in a problem, the problems become more complex, we round more and more, where our answers become off. So keep, us, like, keep those four decimal places for now. All right, and now when I work it out, I'm going to have one half apothem, 12.3874 times perimeter, which is 90. And now I'm going to recalculate that as I'm sure you are with your own calculator, and I'm getting 557.4, and now I will round. So 557.4, and do I have any labels for this? Double check, double check, it says meters. So my answer is 557.4 meters squared for area, meters squared. All right, moving along, because these are all long problems. 
An outdoor accessories company manufactures circular covers for outdoor umbrellas. The cover is eight inches longer than the umbrella on each side. Find the area. All right, so area is equal to pi r squared. Radius. I need a radius. My radius is from here to here. Well, 72 is from here to here. When we cut that in half, I get 36. But then I still have 8. So 36 and 8 is going to give me a radius of 44. So I come back over here, pi times the radius. And I'm going to square that. And then grab your calculators. And by the way, will we please use and find your pi button? If you type in 3.14, once again, you're rounding that. The pi button doesn't do the round or allows that the, as much as the decimals we're going to need. So if you could please use the pi button, your area 6,082.1. Um, we're going to round to the nearest tenth, and this should be inches squared. All right, moving right along. Find the area of the shaded region. Assume that the triangle is equilateral, round to the nearest tenth. So, to figure this out, you're going to take the area of the circle, and you're going to subtract the area of the triangle. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, triangle, what half base times height? I don't have the base, I don't have the height. We're going to have to use, knowing that it's equilateral, we're going to have to use one half a p. All right? So this is going to be pi r squared minus one half a p. We'll start with pi r squared because at least it gets it started. Pi times the radius. The pink is the radius. So we'll take seven and square it. All right, and minus one half. I don't know the apothem. I don't know the perimeter. So here we go. Let's take that triangle. Let me enlarge that. All right, this is seven, which means this also has to be seven. Oh my goodness. Let me get that. I'm going to take my labels out for now. All right, and then. We need to find this. A couple of things you could do. It's an equilateral triangle, so all of these angles are 60, 60, 60. Or, hmm, this is going to be a 90 degree angle. There's a circle here. There's 360 degrees in a circle. You're dividing among three triangles, so each one of these angles is 120. This angle right there, 120. It's happening again right here, but I've cut it in half. So this triangle, here, let me highlight it for you. This triangle, ooh, too much. And let me rewrite that triangle now. Oh. One twenty. Cut in half gives me sixty. All right, this is my, oh, 30, 60, 90. I know that my hypotenuse is seven. My short side is always half the hypotenuse. This is my short side, it doesn't look too much like it, but it is, all right? And my long leg is always square root three times my hypotenuse. And I'm gonna leave it in that form. So now I have the apothem is seven halves, or 3.5, and now I still need to figure out my perimeter. This piece right here, I hope you guys are really paying attention to this. This piece right here is only from here to here. So if that is 7 square root 3 over 2, and this is 7 square root 3 over 2, the total is 14 square root 3 over 2. Oh wait, 14 over 2, that's not reduced down enough. That's 7 square root 3. So this entire length is 7 square root 3. That is only one side. I need to do the entire perimeter. 7 square root 3, 7 square root 3. So that is a total of 21 square root 3. So my perimeter 
21 square root 3, apothem, 7 halves, and now I'm going to do some serious math here. Pi times 49 minus 1 half times 7 halves times 21 square root 3. And I have a sneaky suspicion that most of you will be grabbing your calculators right now. I'm just going to think positive. You guys are doing it, right? Check it out because if you're not getting the same answer, we need to know why. Okay, minus 0.5 times 3.5 times 21 square root 3. I'm calculating this right now on my calculator. And I'm getting 90.3. Okay, and that is centimeters squared for a label. All right, long and drawn out, but you guys are going to do this on a lot of problems. You're going to be doing this a lot. You need to know kind of the process. And that ends today's ever so exciting lesson. All right, thanks.